So the back of my brain is like my journal? Yeah, except mine writes in cryptic riddles. Mine just doodles chaos. Mine creates plot twist. See this compass symbol? That's your PCC, the rear hub that keeps your story lined up. It's your inner narrator, the one that says, this is happening to me. It gets reports from the Mohawk, personalizes the experience, and then sends the update to the watchtower up front. Then the PCC decides what needs to be saved, what we can let go of, and sends it to the hippocampus, your brain's memory storage. That's how your brain keeps the past and the present in the same story. And right underneath the PCC, that's your precuneus. Think of it as your imagination bridge. It lets you replay old scenes and picture new ones. So your inner narrator and imagination bridge have a two-way radio with each other. Together, they keep your sense of self running like a movie instead of scattered snapshots. And see this sprout here? That's serotonin, your chemical glue for calm continuity. So the PCC and Precuneus are like the rear view mirror of you, reflecting where you've been so that you can stay oriented to who you are. But when trauma hits, that mirror fogs up. The PCC stops narrating, the Precuneus can't tell what's real, and serotonin tanks. That's why flashbacks feel like time travel. You're remembering without even realizing you're remembering. The past hijacks the present, but when safety and serotonin return, that mirror clears. You start saying, oh, that happened, and I'm still here. That's integration, when the narrator is finally back in the booth. Tomorrow, we get started on the default mode network and meet the left and right angular gyrus, your perspective taker, the part that lets you tell your story through your lens instead of your abusers.